Well, this is my latest 50 millimeter EDF jet. I call it the Cyber Jet. I wonder where I got the inspiration for that. Anyway, uh, came in at 290 grams, the same as the box jet, but the orange and white one that I did. So it should fly pretty well. Uh, the only, the big difference, I suppose, is that I've uh, only put a 3S motor in here. It generates, outside of the plate, it generates 370 grams of thrust. And the plane all up with the 850, mil, uh, 850 milliamp hour battery is 370. So um, it's, a, it's not gonna be overpowered. Should be enough though. And we will see. I can also fit a 1300 battery in there pretty easily, uh, but that's another 50 or 40 grams of weight that um, really don't want to really don't want to add for the maiden, especially for the maiden. Okay. Next up, the maiden. So up, down, right, left. Okay, ready for a power check this time? Yep. That's all she's got. Give her a good, nice, level toss. If you can do it level. Okay. Need some up as well. It's flying. I think it's got too much up. Way too much up. Now it's got too much down. <laughs> Very touchy. If we're out, dude. Nice. All right. It's it's doing it. Is that full throttle? No. <laughs> so it turns better left. Let's try this here. Oh, we should try a stall. Yeah. Yeah, it just nosed over. Okay, oops, gotta bring her in. <laughs> okay. Lives for another day. Well, that was good. Thank you. You're up. It's like it needs a little up elevator. Definitely. these little winglets on there, see if I could improve. Let's do a fast flyby here.
think I'm out of battery already. So I'm going to show you how to roll this. Line up this paper edge here, at the edge of the table, and then just kind of Time to fold the wing halves. I'm going to glue up here the front of the and the back of the spar, and then also along this rear edge. And I've marked the pencil kind of where the wing falls. Um, we want to, once we fold it, we want to make sure that this slot and that slot are exposed. Uh, it should line up, but just line it up when you fold the wing.
Okay, to glue the wing on, glued just along the center here first, and then came back and glued, where is it, All right along those seams on both sides. So first, test fit the top. Uh, then once everything is fitting well, uh, glue down the back from basically the uh, stabilizer back. And then glue down the front here and the front here. And this top front should pop up a little bit. You can kind of glue under there in, in that area. And then just along the wings. So testing or uh, test fitting the front hatch and I'll do, this comes out I'm gonna glue that in after the hatch Okay, so it's completed. The last few things I did is I balanced the plane with an 850 and a 1300. Uh, I will definitely maiden with the 850 uh, due to weight. It weighs 80 grams versus 117 grams. Uh, I marked in here essentially the 850 goes forward, 1300 goes aft of uh, these markings there. <clears throat> and I put I did the throws so I set all the throws equal the um, it's a throw gauge it's about 20 degrees up down on the elevators and on the ailerons since the programming and the radio you know each one is controlled by its own uh, servo uh, it's important to make sure you get the throws the same um, with this model Hopefully that's enough throw, or not too much. I usually use a lot of Expo. Uh, after the Maiden, we'll know. Cyberjet, 50 millimeter EDF trainer. It's only 3S. I hope I put a 3S battery in there. Ready? Yeah. Nice and flat. Whoa, it's out of gas. That I'm gonna do a hand launch here. Let's hope it goes okay. <laughs> 